All right, ladies and gentlemen, Danny Fee here with Keller Williams Realty Las Vegas. I am over here about to go through InShot. I wanted to um, give you guys an idea of what we do whenever we take a listing, basically. Um, we create a walkthrough video. And the reason why that this walkthrough video is so important is because it's a great lead magnet. It's a way for you to get people to exchange their information because they want to see more than what the MLS is for now allow. In the future, I have a feeling that MLSs will, it will be a thing to upload a walkthrough video. Um, I, I can't believe that it's not a thing yet, but I'm pretty sure that it will be a thing for multiple listing services throughout the country to allow agents to upload a walkthrough video. And you can do it now um, by putting it in the agent branded virtual tour link space, at least here in Las Vegas, you can. Um, at any rate, um, having this option is, is vital. So one of the things that you want to do is go and capture footage. You want to go and capture footage of your new listing. And I recommend that you do this on the day that you do your listing photos. Let's see here. I'm playing with StreamYard. This is the first time. So um, I'm kind of messing around with it. I think I really like this compared to Zoom, believe it or not. Everyone's jumping on Zoom and I'm like, yeah, Zoom's cool. I like Zoom. I've been using Zoom for a couple years, but let's check out these other platforms. And Zoom is awesome, but I'm using StreamYard right now and there are a lot of pretty cool things um, going on in this platform, like that scrolling thing on the bottom. By the way, we're putting together an agent videos challenge right now. Uh, we're going to probably be highly focused on YouTube, believe it or not. And there's a really good reason for that. And we're going to be talking all about that when you sign up for the agent videos challenge today at socialagentsecrets.com. Today, I just wanted to show you guys exactly what I do for the walkthrough videos. So like in my photo section, let me make my, uh, my phone bigger. Um, some of you guys might even be wondering, like, how am I doing all this? How do I have my phone up here? Well, go to socialagentsecrets.com and I'll make a training on this. If you comment below and say you want to learn how to do this, we're all about videos. We're all about the digital version of yourself. I believe that the most powerful tech in your real estate business is the digital version of you. So uh, what we talk about and right here is another way to create a digital presence online. So I went to the property the other day, excuse of the other stuff you might see here. This property is Oh my gosh, this property is in bad shape. It got burned down, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but I was there the other day and I was like, okay, I got to get the walkthrough video. Like this thing got burned down and all that's left is the foundation and the studs. It's it's pretty bad. But the pictures just don't do it justice. People, they're like, man, I need to get oriented with this property if I'm going to make a decision, especially since people don't want to be going out and about um, with all this COVID crisis stuff happening. Um, so you got to do video. There is a power box there that actually works now, by the way. But again, people need to get oriented. And, um, so the way that I did it was I went and I got video. Let's see, where's the video at? Here's the video file. All right. So I started out front. I put, uh, I got a gimbal and I put a wide angle lens on there and you can see this right now. This is the video. There's a special case that goes onto this phone. Um, it's called Moment. Look up Moment. Um, because what it does is allows you to attach a wide angle lens, which is in this bag, to the case. And it makes your video a lot better. Now, if you have the iPhone 11, then I think you already have a wide angle lens option. Uh, but because I have an iPhone 10, um, I want wide angle, especially in tight places like rooms when you're doing video. Um, so you're going to want to take this video and edit it up a little bit. Okay. And I already did a full version edit, but I want to get people's attention. So I'm going to make a smaller, like condensed, like sizzle video. And I want to show you how I do that because I've had requests um, in the social agent secrets group, which if you're watching this on the page, there should be a call to action to visit the group. Um, how do you edit your videos? I actually do most of it on my phone or you can hire a videographer, whatever you want to do. Um, but I, I like doing this stuff. So 
I do it on my phone. So the video is now on my photo section. Like after I capture it on my um, my my phone with my case, I use a gimbal too. It's like a DJI Osmo 3. In fact, let me grab that for you real quick. I'm going to play this video. This is the DJI Osmo 3. And I'll, I'll make my face a little bit bigger for this. Right here, DJI Osmo 3. And it actually comes with a little tripod too, which is really cool. So you can set it up and even do like Facebook Lives and stuff like that. Or you could even like when you're in the Osmo app, like select yourself and walk around and then the thing will like follow you around. So that's pretty cool. But what's awesome is this thing, it connects to your phone. And this was like 130 bucks at the Apple store or you can just buy it online. Um, so this is what it looks like right here. It connects to your phone. And this is what I took this video that you're seeing on the screen with. It like connects through Bluetooth. It recognizes your phone. I can't do it right now because I'm, I'm using my phone for the demonstration. Um, but you connect it and then you just kind of like walk through. It's always good to get to the corners of the rooms, like go back to that corner and then you like pan to the left so you can get the whole room and just go slow. People really want you to go slow. They, they want to see these videos. Yeah, this house got burned down like the gas line. That's the gas line coming out of the ground right there. But go slow. I'm just giving you some real in, uh, techniques. I do walkthrough videos on YouTube all the time of the brand new model homes. And in the beginning, I would upload them and they get a lot of organic traffic. They get, I've gotten I've gotten about one hundred and twenty thousand dollars in commissions in the pipeline right now just from these videos of uh, twenty thousand at least is closed um, from these types of videos. And it's all organic. It's crazy. Um, but you want to learn how to, you know, use YouTube and attract your dream client and, um, you know, constantly be getting clicks and views and impressions, go to socialagentsecrets.com, sign up. The agent videos challenge is going to teach you how to do exactly that. All right. So, but you've got this raw footage. How do you edit it? Right. How do you take this and kind of make it more presentable? with like a little bit of an intro, maybe some text overlays. It's smart to disclose your brokerage if it's your listing, um, your license number, your name, your title, realtor, um, whatever brokerage you're with. Uh, maybe a call to action like call or text for more information, things like that. So what I use is this app right here called InShot. Let me make it a little bit bigger. There we go. InShot. This is the app that I use for it. And you'll see here, I created this 23 minute video of the same property right here. And I made some music for it. You probably can't hear it. Uh, but if you want background music for your videos, what's really cool in this application, and just so you guys know how I did that, you click the video icon right there. You can also make collages and photos. This app, there's a free version. I paid for the upgraded version, but you go to videos and I'm going to show you, I created a really long video of this property and it's a call to action. Like how did I get that for sale thing there? Let me show you. Um, it was a sticker. So that's it right there. When you double tap that sticker, I, you can put an effect on it. Like you can make it like wiggle like that. Or you can make it like do a loop like that. Like, hey, for sale, that would be pretty cool. Or you can just bring it in or pinch it in or bring it from the right or bring it from the left. Okay. You can do all sorts of transitions with these little elements that you, you put into uh, these videos. Okay. Um, then you press the check mark button. All right. Now that text. I got the Las Vegas, Nevada, and I got the address in the front there. And then, you know, if I wanted to, like, after it, it finishes on that green part, it comes away. Look, see how it's gone? Now it's there. Now it's gone. 
So if I wanted to extend it out, I could by doing this. Now that Las Vegas has been extended and then you drag it with your finger. You just pull that little arrow with your finger right there. And now your text is extended. Now this is a really long video. It literally walks through the entire property because it's in no showing status. It's actually could be, I don't know if it was, a, if, if it could be a hazard, but it's secure. The property's secure. We got that window back up on there and locked in and we've got the front door boarded up. But, you know, especially with all the concerns right now and just the condition of this property going into it. Look at that. This thing got burnt. $125,000. The ARV on it, two sixty. dollars So um, we've already got multiple offers on this and I just posted it last night. The walkthrough video is extremely helpful, though, because people can't go in and see it. They want to see the video. And if they're really serious, then, you know, they send us proof of funds um, or the buyer's agent will, will present all that. And then and then they can go and get access. A lot of these people are investors who are looking at this kind of property so they know what they're doing. A uh, power company came out and installed brand new uh, power line there. But I created this video and. Look, right here is where I put some new text. You see that comes in. I put my brokerage name um, and the little call to action at the top. But now we're going to create like a quick sizzle video, a quick sizzle video, like 30 seconds. And people like drama. So I'm going to show like the fire. I'm going to show that power box that looked all jacked up. Um, so we're going to create a brand new video. And I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch real quick. All right, so you, you you press new there and it automatically, when you press video and you press the green new button, it'll automatically open up your photos app on your iPhone. And you know what? Um, I just got a message. Someone wants me to share this. Um, I'm just gonna share it real quick out to my page. Cause someone like one of my accountability partners is like, hey, you gotta share that out to your public profile. This is just on the Facebook page. Doing one video a day, you guys. There's another challenge. This one is is definitely worth doing. Like this is the one video I'm doing today. Um, you guys should be doing one video a day trying to provide value in some way, shape, or form. So I'm just going to share this out real quick onto my uh, Facebook page. And cool. So I'm just going to share this out. And now into my uh, Facebook page. Sharing a group. And, cool. and now into. All right. I'll go in and edit that later. All right. So that's shared. All right. Done. Okay. So look, we're back here and we're going to edit this video. And we're going to start the brand new video here. So it opens up your photos. So just go and find the content that you shot using the gimbal. And if you don't want to, in the beginning, I literally just went and walked through with my phone like this and tried to keep it as stable as possible. And it still looked good. On YouTube, I started getting comments from people. Like, dude, you need to get a wide angle lens. This video sucks. Like people were talking crap, but they were still watching the video. I got like two, 3,000 views organically on these model homes out here and other nice looking properties is what I, I go after. Uh, people like beat up looking properties too, believe it or not. Um, so it's not just about that because that's a good investment opportunity. But people will tell you in the comments on YouTube their feedback. And if you don't listen, that's kind of your fault. I listened. I was like, oh, shoot, maybe I need to go out and get a lens. And I'll show you what this lens looks like. This case in the lens was like 100 bucks. Um, might have been like 130 bucks. But it's an investment. So look, you take it out. Here we go. And it has this little, this little cover on it, just to give you guys an idea. Now, this is called the moment. The moment. Okay. And this is goes right on this case goes onto your phone and then the lens goes on to the case. I've tried to explain this before, but now I was like, I really need to explain it. So this little uh, cover comes off right here. See, look at that bad boy. It's like a professional lens. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. And then look, I probably need to clean that off a little bit better. This right here goes on 
to the case. It like screws in. Hold up. Like that. See? So now it's on the case. And then the next step is to actually put it on the phone. And I think I can actually do it here. Oops. There we go. And so look, I'll give you an example right now. In the room, maybe it needs to be like this. It get, it makes the room look a lot wider compared to not having it on. Let me take this off real quick. See? See the difference? Like that's what it looks like without the wide angle lens. This is what it looks like. Sorry about the room. This is like the office, but turned into a playroom. And you screw it on. Look. Yeah, I got my truly on the desk. Don't worry. So it gives you a way better perspective on tight spaces like, like a room. Okay. So that's my little training on why it's important to, to do that. So now we got to take the footage that we captured for the new listing. And you see this one is 711. You take that. Now you can either upload the entire file or you can trim it down by dragging left and right to find the areas that you really want. Okay, I'm just gonna upload the file and press the check mark button right there to the right, right above this area. There's a check mark over there. You wanna press that. And now it's going to create a new project. Actually, I'm going to add the interior photo, the interior as well. This one. You know what? I'm going to do that one too. This one, it was a blue day out on that day. And that's the interior. Cool. So then once you, once you have your file selected, you press the green check mark button on the bottom right there. And now you can start editing your file. You see here, you can select the uh, the file that you've uploaded here. And let's say it uploaded the interior uh, walkthrough first, but I want I want to position the, the exterior walkthrough because I uploaded two different files here. So you just do a long press on this file down here and you see that it'll show you a short um, like icon of the two different videos that you uploaded. So I'm gonna just hold this one and drag it over just like that. And now the video starts like this. So you can literally edit videos right here on your iPhone, which is awesome. So we just want some, some real quick footage and another cool thing to do is add some background music. Once you add the background music, you can actually make your cuts um, right when the, the the beat hits. You know, you see people doing that. It's cool. You know, it's like uh, visually appealing and it goes with the audio. So you're mixing audio and video. So you click this music icon right here. That one right there. You see right here, you can scroll these these little icons and, and it gives you options to do a bunch of different stuff. Like you can do your text overlay using this text button right here. You can do the music in the background by pressing that music icon right there. You can even adjust the canvas to make it like a square like that for Instagram. And even if you want to change the background, you can change the background with like a gradient like that or a different pattern like that or like that. They got different patterns here like this. Hey, buddy. I'll be done in like 10 minutes. Okay. All right. Do you have any idea how to jump? No, I don't, but I'll be out there soon. Okay. Please shut the door. Thank you. All right. So I'm not going to put that on there. I might make a version like this a little bit later. But I'm just gonna make a regular, um, a, a, a regular um, no frame is what it's called. The way that I actually took it. When I took it, I took it like this. So it's um, it's not portrait. It's landscape. So when I put no frame, it'll actually be the actual frame in which I took the video in the first place. So 
All right. You want to edit it, you select the video, and then you can actually cut down instead of watching this long, drawn out walk to you know the front of the house. I want to show that this is the sizzle version. This isn't the full walkthrough. So I want to show like the stuff that's going to catch people's interest. And for this particular home, when investors see a damaged property, it's like euphoria for them, right? When people who are looking for a nice luxury home, when they see a luxury property, it's like euphoria for them. So we're going to try to appeal to the investors out there and show them the dramatic side of this property. This home got burnt down. Um, I even have, I found the YouTube video because it made the news. Um, somebody was trimming their tree up there one day and the leaves fell down into their fire pit or something like that. And then this caught fire and like three other properties caught, two other properties caught fire that day back in 2018. And that YouTube video is in the listing as well. But let's get to the dramatic stuff. So look, we're going to try to find, you know, right there probably where it shows that burn. We're probably going to want to start, we'll start here. You see how I'm dragging left to right like this? But I'm trying to find my starting point. So look, boom. And then I'm going to put just listed. So I'm going to select this text icon right here. Um, I'll put like investor. Special. Uh, or no, I put attention in investors, attention investors. Okay. So look, you can drag the text wherever you want to put it. You can pull it to the right and left with your thumb with that, that little white arrow icon on the bottom. Um, you can see there's a black outline on it. If you double tap the text and, and you press this little circle wheel right here, you can actually pull away that border. Let's say you don't want that border, that black border. You click the border and then you press the um, that white background with the red stripe. You see, so I took it away. It actually might be better with, with the border. It's easier to read. Let's say that border line is too thick. Right here on the bottom, you can make it even thicker or you can, you can bring it down. And, and maybe if I brought it up here, you'd see a little better. You see how that border is getting thin and then thicker as I as I do this. Who knows? Maybe I'll put a red outline on there. Boom. Boom. Trying to get their attention, right? Boom. That's a color. I'm not trying to make this pretty. I'm trying to get their attention. This home is not really pretty to begin with, right? Attention investors. Let's put the S on there. Now, you can see here on the very bottom, and this this really might not be the best quality because I'm streaming it live, and this is the first time I use StreamYard, so I'm not sure. But right here, it's saying that this piece of text is 2.8 seconds, so you can make it longer. Now it's longer than that. Now it's five seconds, or you can you can you can make it shorter. So I'm just going to do one second, like quick little quick little attention grabbers. One second there. Um, we'll duplicate it and then we'll, um, we'll put fixer upper fixer upper. If you want to change the font, there's different fonts too. You can use the permanent marker one. Um, I always use Bebas, Bebes. That would probably be a cool one to use since my name is Daniel, but nope. I'm gonna stick with what I usually use, which is this this one right here, boom. If I wanted to make the text have animation, you click that little three circle thing that's moving right there next to the letters. And then you can like choose these different animations like a heartbeat, boom, fix the upper, try to get their attention. Um, if you want to slow that down, because that's a that's a little bit um, too fast, you, you move that. There's so many things you can do with it. Look at this. Change the uh, the rhythm of how often the beat goes. So we're not going to mess with that too much. But I just want to show you what's available when you're using InShot 
on your phone. I'm not getting paid to promote them. I just absolutely use them all the time. So you press play. So look, see how that transitioned? Attention investors, fixer upper. Um, maybe I'll change the color on that one. So, oh, that changed the text color. The border, the orange. Change the colors, fixer, attention investor, fixer upper. We'll say just listed for sale, okay? I might throw this on Instagram and, and Facebook. Um, I'm going to take the, uh, the border off of them. We'll just do black. And we'll go to 25%. Boom. Same thing with this one. I'm going to take that, um, that transition off. We'll go back to the border. And if anyone's commenting on this, I'm, I'm going to have to come back to you because I'm, I'm just focused on this right now. I'm not looking at any comments, um, but I'll get back to you. If you do leave a comment or have a question, I'll answer your question best I can. And if there's something I didn't cover on this video, I will cover it in a later video. All right. So border black 25%. Cool. Just listed. I'm going to take the transition off of that one. Oh. And so it's showing that burnt, like front facade right there. No, it's taking a little bit longer. I'll come out when I'm done, though, buddy. All right. These are special times. So. You can also change the filter on the actual video. If you select the video at the bottom there and you select that filter icon, which is right here. You can change it like to different filters on the actual video. So a whole bunch of stuff to play around with on here. You can adjust the contrast if you want to. See that? In fact, that might look good, but that's a little bit too dark right there. We'll just leave it. Contrast, actually, that looks good. Okay. So attention investors, fix a rubber, just listed. And then I'm going to put the address real quick. Um, this is Alta. Let me see here. 4421 Alta. So you click the text icon again. 4421 Alta. Drive. And I'm going to take the border off of that one. You just play with it. Do it. Do what you want with it. Drop shadow. Why not? And um, I'm going to copy that one so when you press copy it makes it the same exact length um, and it puts it right on top so it'll have the same time and then i'm going to put las vegas right here so people know where it's at now you want to disclose if you're listing this as a as an agent, you want to disclose like your brokerage information and stuff. So I'd start that off from the beginning. And I have it set up to where I can type in like three keys and, on my phone and it will just like print it out like social media compliance, SMC. And it like literally like creates all the text. So it has my info right there. Okay. Once you type text in, you can also press this text icon right here. And then you see this little clock right above the check mark over here to the right. You see that I just pressed it. It'll it'll uh, give you the things that you've recently typed up. So I always put my disclosure, my information there. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and, and press that and it automatically does that too. 
So I can put that right below right here and then we're covered. Okay. Now, one thing you want to do is like you want to make it the entire length of the video possibly. So you can drag that text because it'll end right there. You see how on the bottom it just went away. I'm going to make it the length of the video. So I'm going to pull it up and then I'm going to click the right button once here. And I'm going to go video end. And that'll extend that text out for the entire video. Okay. Um, fix the wrapper. I'm going to move that up a little bit. Just listed, you select it, move that up a little bit, and then it'll give the address. Cool. Fixer upper, they're gonna see burn. I, I could even put a fire icon there if I wanted. I'm not gonna do that though. Um, but right there is where I'm gonna cut this video. I'm gonna cut that video. I'm gonna cut it off and I'm gonna cut into a different, I'm gonna cut into a different um, scene, right? So you select the video on the bottom there and then you click the split icon, this little split one. It's right next to the scissors. I like to use the split though. Boom. It just chopped that video in half. So I'm going to I'm going to scroll to the right until I find something that looks good. So maybe the no trespassing. <laughs> That's a little dramatic, right? Ooh, the broken window. That's some drama right there. Give them a peek of the inside of the house a little bit. Um, what else? Let's find something else. We'll give them that. So now you'll see right where I cut off, it's gonna just jump right over to there. Show the insp like uh, the gas thing. That that might be cool. I might do that. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that one. Yeah. So it'll go into like a broken window. It's kind of dramatic, right? Now they can see real quick the inside. I'm gonna split it right there. Now I'm gonna go try to find my next scene. You see what I'm saying? This is how you can edit. We don't want it too long. We just want to catch their attention so they can click for more information. See, I want that no trespassing. I want that. That's dramatic, right? So we're going to cut over no trespassing. Um, that's pretty much all you need to see from that part. No trespassing. And then we'll just come right here. So we're going to cut that one. Right where that line is is where it'll cut. So you can move it to where, wherever you want transitioning out see some blue in the sky split it let's go find a different one and then we'll be done let's go find that power box that got all jacked up we got a board up on that too right there that one got burned up No, I'm not going to use that one. There's a power box around the corner. I'm going to use that one. So I'm just like scrolling left to right as I'm holding that arrow on the bottom to find. Yeah, that looks good because it shows some charred wood right there, some blue in the sky. And then I'm now I'm just moving it along to where they can see part of the uh, the burnt power box. And then um, we'll split that. And then now we should be able to go inside. I think they get the idea there. So we'll show them that that power box got messed up, but at least we'll give them some relief here and show them that there's been a new one installed. Okay, and we'll split that one right there. Boom. Oh, maybe they should have seen that too. But anyways, okay, so now we're going into the house. So that was the first video that I uploaded. Remember how when we started here, there was two videos that I, that I uploaded ultimately. <laughs> um, one of them was the exterior. So I walked around the property using this thing. 
um, and, and doing that exterior walk. And then one of them was at the interior. Um, I got that wide angle lens on there and we walked through the inside of the property just so they could see like what's going on here. Cause the pictures, it really just looks like a bunch of studs and foundation, um, some vents and some, some burnt up cords. Like you, you can't really get a sense of the property. So the walkthroughs are so important. All we're doing is giving them a sizzle video video here. Um, and we'll start up there. We'll split that one. I'm going to take this because that's the interior one. I'm just going to delete that. So you see here how I can either move it around or I'm just going to press this trash button, get rid of it, right? And then this one is 30 seconds. That's too long. So we're going to get rid of that one too. Delete. Done. So right now the video is like 15 seconds. It's not too long. We don't want it to be too long. People's attention is way too low um, nowadays. So you just need something to catch their attention. And then you give them a call to action. Like, hey, to see the full walkthrough video, tap here. And then you bring them to a page where it says, you know, what's your phone number, your name, and your email to get access to this video, plus all the listing photos, plus all the listing information. And in fact, it might be a good idea just to like not put the address there too. I'm talking from a marketing standpoint, just listed fixer up or just listed in Las Vegas. Like if I give them the address there, they'll just, they'll just Google it. They still won't get the walkthrough video though. So I'll decide whether or not I want to keep that, but okay. So I'm only going to show a little bit more because then otherwise what's the point? They'll, they'll have the whole walkthrough video. So boom, we'll just do this and We'll leave it like right there. Split that off. Done. We're going to delete that. That's the end of the video. And we'll do the call to action here where it says, um, tap link for full walk through video okay this is lead generation this is how you guys can get leads for all the agents out there investors it's a lead magnet is what it's called tab link we got two fours there that truly tab link for full walkthrough video okay you could put like a, a pointing icon whatever but um, and then do that to the video end as well so we got the power box there it'll transition to the inside where the people are gonna be like well, I want to see because we show like all of the fixtures at least what's left of them um, and then, so that's it. Tap the link for full walkthrough video. Now I do like to transition out with something. So I'll press this plus button right here. Um, that plus button, the bottom left right there, it's like the red one. And then you click photo. Yeah, it's okay. I'm almost done, buddy. I promise. I did go a little bit longer. I told him 10 minutes, like 20 minutes ago, right? So in albums, I've got it. I've got it saved. Um, logos. I'll put my my brand there. That one right there. So, and then I'll I'll outro with that. Okay. Uh, the other thing that I'll do is that text that I extended all the way to the end of the video. I'll stop it right there. So the way to do that, you press the text, and then you'll select it. You see that. Um, and then you'll just, you'll cut it, you'll split it right there, just like that. And then you just delete the one like that. You can bring this behind the threshold of where that transition happens. And you click that arrow, go clip end, and it'll bring it right to the clip end. And I'll, I'll do the clip beginning on this one. Okay. 
Now, if I want to transition, instead of going straight into the outro, I can actually put a, a white fade transition on that. You just click this little pin button in between the transitions. And then this one is the, the white fade. You see that? It gives it a little bit more of a nice touch. Boom. And when you do that, you have to bring back the text a little bit. Otherwise, it'll overlay. Bring it right into the middle. All right. So that's cool. Now, the last thing I like to add is the music. And then I might do some more edits when I add the music to, ch to transition these clips when the beat hits. Right? So you, you use this music. And Danny was making some beats the other day. We got this new app where you can make your own beats. Like, um, I don't know if I'll be able to hear it though, but they have these pre-recorded uh, tracks that you can select that's royalty free. But if you use these, and I wish the music would play, I don't know if it's playing on your end. Let me see here. I don't think I can hear it. Oh, because I'm in airplane mode. You can add music. So I created some music and uploaded it. Some too. Yeah, you created some too. Um, you can create music on GarageBand, believe it or not, and you can import the music that you make on your phone directly into here. That's a whole different training. So I'll, I'll probably use this and then the, the audio tracks there. When I play it, you can't hear it. I'll have to figure out how to get the music in. Maybe you guys can hear it on your end. I'm not sure, but I can't hear it here. And then I'll transition when the beat hits, like you listen for it. There's a little timer on the bottom here, and when it hits, you can you can move um, the video to end or start right when that when that beat hits, right when that transition hits. So it, it gives it a nice touch. And then once you're done, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a it's it's a 51 second video, so this is shorter than one minute, perfect for Instagram. And then you click that top right button up there, the share button in the top right. And then you click save. And so what will happen is it's going to render. And it takes a little bit to render. It's taking all the information that you made on the edit. And it's basically going to add it directly to your photos app on your phone as soon as it's done. And then your edit's complete. And then all you got to do is upload it to whatever platforms you want. And the next step, of course, would be to build out the landing page to where when they opt in, it will automatically send them that full walkthrough video, uh, which is really just uploaded onto YouTube um, or Vimeo, along with whatever information that you're promising to give them in return for the contact information. And when they give you your contact information, I did a video on this page last week that shows you exactly how to automate that process into your CRM, build out up, um, build out automated text messages and automated emails, and then automatically set reminders to call these people and follow up with them. Okay, um, so that's how I use InShot to edit my videos, and you'll see that one's finished. So let's see what that looked like when it came out. So now I'll go to my Photos app there, and you'll see there it is. In, in the photos. So that's the that's the video that we just edited together and, and created. Um, there's that dramatic people are like, oh, broken glass, burned down house, no trespassing. Um, this is going to catch some attention. I guarantee you it'll generate a whole bunch of leads. Let's say hello. Say hello to Aria. Aria. We're making videos over here. All right, so hey, that's how you guys use InShot to create your videos. From there, you can upload the video onto Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn with uh, caption text, a call to action, and things like that. I hope that this video was helpful, um, and I'll see you on the next video. Go to socialagentsecrets.com. Sign up for that video challenge. I promise you, you're going to get a lot of value.